Well, people are saying that there's this thing, I forget what it's called, but there was, sold, there was a lot of people fighting for their lives. And Hillary had a choice because she was in charge to, they think that she did this, but she was in charge, there's more things they think she did. And I'll tell you about them. So she was in charge of sending people to go get help. And there was a bunch of men fighting for their life. And Hillary could choose A, not do, I mean, do A, send someone to help them, or B, not do anything. And they're saying she chose B, not do anything. And all those men died except for one. Everybody thinks that. Oh, really? So, and then everybody thinks she did something with, like, secret messages. And they're thinking she sent the secret messages, or it's either sent them to to people like bad people, or I think she uh, no, she deleted some type of secret messages that they needed to get to get to get something. Uh-huh. There were some, and there were really classified messages, and I think she was working with them, and she had the message, and she was the one in charge of the messages, I think. And I think they had like really classified messages. That she had on her phone or something like that, oh. and she did them. I oh, think that's so do you think that's happened. why Trump won? Well, first of all, Trump. He's like, hey, like sorry, <laughs> but he's like, he did. Well, they're saying he went to like five different states in America. He campaigned in five different states, so that could be one of the reasons he's been like pushing people. And he's been trying to say, oh, Hillary lied, such and such. But I don't think she ever went to jail for anything, did she? No, she didn't. So yeah. do you think Donald Trump is the wise choice, was the best choice? No. He says he's mean. He's really rude. He he wants, he, he supports, like, people having guns. So he's saying, I support it, too. But well, we should, we, we, when you buy a gun, we should have, like, background checks. She was saying, do a background check and see who is going to be handling this gun. And, like, if you look at them and they try to buy a gun, and if there's something like that, or they have charges, like, look back into the charges and stuff like that. And then if they're not a good person, they've got, like, a lot of charges, and they escape from prison or something, go to the police. And she's saying, like, you need to do background checks. Before, I am support gun, I support guns. For, for people's protection, but we need to be doing background checks. And then Trump was saying, no background checks. Why can't they just buy the guns? Uh -huh. It's not going to change anything. Uh -huh. But here is saying, yes, it will, because there's going to be people. So you world. don't think Trump going to yeah. make a good president? No, because he's really mean, and he's trying to go, like, he's saying he's going to build a wall so, for Mexicans. And I kind of want to go to Mexico, so I'm kind of mad. Because uh -huh. he keeps Mexicans out, and he has people with brown skin. And he hates Mex Mexicans, and he hates women. Did you? If you watch the last, the last campaign, like the third one, Trump called Hillary a booger. A na I mean, a nasty woman. Trump is like Hillary is just a nasty woman. I cannot look at her. She's just a nasty. woman. He did. Yeah, he's like Hillary is a nasty woman. He's like she's such a bad woman. She's nasty. She's done bad things, and we don't even know if those things are true yet. Um. So, but she, but they're saying, but he just kept on saying, he said a few times in the campaign, because me and my mom and Anna were watching, he, he just kept on saying a few times, she's a nasty woman. Uh. It was so, just really rude. So since uh, Trump wants to build a wall to keep Bronx people, Bronx skin people out of America, does that mean I won't be able to come to America? He did that too? He's going to do that too? No, I thought that's what you said. No, I said about the Mexicans. Oh. I think it was people like, I think, I, he's saying he wants to build a wall. We don't know if he's going to do this yet. But he's saying he wants to build, I, I build a really big, gigantic wall and to keep all the Mexicans that are back there that haven't moved to America, that want to move to America for more freedom. He wants to build a wall so they can't. He hates Mexicans. Oh, gosh. And, but, but what I'm thinking is, that, and Hillary said this too, where are you going to get the money to build a gigantic wall, a high wall that no phones will go over? Where are you going to get the money for that? You need thousands, you need millions actually, not thousands. You need thousands, millions. You need lots, you need lots of money. You need to be comp like rich, rich. You need to have all this money. 
to build a wall like that. Mm. So how are you going to get the money, Trump, to do that? That's what she's saying. She's saying, Trump, how are you going to get the money to do that? What You need money to do that. Mm. So she's saying, where are you going to get the money from? Who's going to provide the money? What What's the process? How are you going to build the wall? Who's going to build the wall? What's the wall going to do? Well, I hope you don't build a wall to keep me out because I got to get to you when I want to. Yeah, that would be sad. How high are the bleeds planes allowed to go? <laughs> um, I, they can't build a wall that high, sweetheart. <laughs> they cannot build a wall that high. They can't? Okay, good. <laughs> they can't. <laughs> a plane could go all the way over it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what are the kids at your school saying today about the election? A lot of people at my school want Trump because they think Hillary's a liar. Oh. Um. A lot of people are saying Hillary's a liar. And then I just got really mad because when I heard the results. And, my, and I've got two friends, their boss like me, and one of my friends who broke her wrist, who's like, just give Trump a chance. I'm like, I don't want to give Trump a chance. I don't like him. He hates women. He hates people with brown skin. I don't want to give him a chance. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I don't like him. But he's our president now, so we have to give him a chance. There's no well, choice. Well, January. So you like... You know, um, America is built on democracy, and the people voted, and they chose him, even though I did not want him. I did not vote for him. The, the majority chose him, so we got to give him a chance now. We have no choice. I'm like, I don't want him. I don't like him. I never want to see him again. I'm like, I don't like this man. I don't like him at all. I'm like, no, I don't want him. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm like, I Oh boy. I'm just like, I'm sad. I don't want him. He's going to make a bad difference in the world. But the thing is, I don't get about Trump. He, all his signs say, Trump, make America great again. But when did he ever think America was great? I don't get it. Like, I, I don't get him. He, I don't I don't get when he ever thought America was great. What, what like, what's, what's his plan for America? Because he... He's going to get a lot of money from being the president, so he needs to be doing something, or he's, or they can actually take him out, can't they? <laughs> can't they make him... Yeah, yeah, they like, can impeach him, he but he has, to do, he has to do something really bad for them to impeach him. Okay. So you've been watching the presidential debates? Yes, I watch a few of them. How do you get your information? We have something called Alexa in the living room. So sometimes if we would like an update and we're in the kitchen eating breakfast, we either say, Alexa, what's our flash briefing on the election? Or normally we say, Alexa, what's the what's the news today? Or we ask her what's, what's on the election or what's on the news. Or my mom actually has this app where you can catch up on the election. I see. Said, yeah, it's really... But we've got, like, ways to... Yeah, we always, we, we have a way to catch up the election, and sometimes we'll, like, listen on the radio what's on the election. We just kind of want to catch up, you know? I see. <laughs> <laughs>